Hello everyone, I am Santiago, the one editing and making all the videos of DigiCarding and here we are showing my face because I came from work and I had the two starter decks. So let's open them and talk about it a little. As you can see, I'm not used to record myself or speak in English out loud so I may be a little awkward and weird so Please don't be harsh. <laughs> Let's go. Well, here we are. So, we got Statodeki Dukmon, Statodeki Arforce Bidramond, or Startex from Galandmon and Ulforce Bidramond. And here we have our uh, the Apocarimon for luck. First of all, the box are huge. Like, really big. This is the shoe, the box of a starter deck. I know it's different from the westerns. I mean, the decks were the size of a card. I mean, just like this. They have only the cards inside and a memory gouge, really cheap. So the first difference is the box now is huge. We are going full mainstream with the boxes, like all, any other card games. Mm. So let's start with Dukmon because I like it better than All Force. Yes, I have favorites. Okay, let's open this. Okay, let's better grab scissors. Be right back. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what do we have here? Oh, it comes with a playmat, with a little playmat like any other card game. About time. Ah, it has the faces. That's cool. A memory gauge. And in the other side, if you don't like the first one, you have another one. That's really cool. That's really cool. A great thing for anyone that it's starting to play the main deck. Oh, 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 we have the promo cards from Anniversary. Oh, nice. Nice memory gauge. Oh, look at the foiling in the eyes. They glow, the eyes glow. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, my God, that's. A really way to start playing this game like they give you this start deck all the hype uh, let's cut this just a second I have to say okay that is cut I have to say I didn't expect this these are really good I mean they are the same as these ones the ones that were given as a prize or a gift I don't know how it was in the West it has the same quality that's really cool. I I think I'm gonna use them. Well, let's start with the smaller packages. The promo cards of Anniversary. Okay, let's see the deck. So, we got four Gigimon. Gigimon defectes that... Uh, mm. When you delete the Digimon this turn, once per turn, you get 2000 DP. Let's leave it here. Let's move this. Sorry, Apocarimon. Ah, uh, Monodramon. This card is already out, but this is a parallel art. It's beautiful. I like it. I'm gonna start using this. Agumon. It's weird. This Agumon is too weird. Look at that nose. Um, mm, oh, this effect. When you're attacking the enemy player, you gain 2000 DP. So basically, every security check you get 2000 extra. Oh, only two copies of Killmon. Ah, look the foiling. Look at that foiling. That's pretty nice. 
this is the first card that has a super rare as a rarity yes and it's below a level 5 it's the first one so basically the effect is if your enemy has a level 6 you can evolve this Gilmon into Dukemon or Galandmon uh, for only 4 costs ignoring everything else and everything, every requirement for evolution and the inherent skill on per turn once you delete a Digimon, you can draw one, once per turn. Basically, all this tech is, if you delete a Digimon, you get a bonus. Plus, plus 2000. And we got the blocker, Biomon blocker. And this one is weird, because usually blockers tend to spend memory when they attack. This Biomon can attack, but can't attack a player. Huh. Not so cool there, but okay. Oh, look at this. Growlmon. This one doesn't have a special foiling, but it's rare. And the uh, inherited skill, if you kill, the, if you delete a Digimon, you get one memory. Only two copies. Greymon, oh, this art is so cool. Look, it looks so sick. I like this Greymon. Geo Greymon, it's not any Greymon, it's Geo Greymon. Really expensive to play. It costs only two memory to evolve, that's the average. But the skills are if it comes from security, you can play it for free. Like all the security Digimon that are now, this is. Just like them, but and if you play it anyway from your hand or from your security, you destroy a Digimon. You delete a Digimon with choose a four thousand DP. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it, but if you build the security decks, that's gonna be a good card. So, parallel art of Dark Tianomon for. I like this one. I like this one better than the one from BD1. Nice. Two copies of Crown Damon. The art looks so ugly. It's like it's like a balloon. Like I, I took a uh, Ground Damon and pumped it with air and took a picture and he's the the final result. He's a balloon. Ugh, I don't like this art. I mean the colors are fine but it look it looks weird. Rice Greymon, average. If you play it, you delete something with five thousand DP, four copies, just like the Geo Greymon. An ability when you, oh, nice. Look at that foiling and that art. Megalogromon. When you attack, you delete something with 3000 DP and the inherited skill. Um, once per turn, the same as always. If you attack, uh, if you delete something, this Digimon gets security check plus one. This has four copies. That's weird. I mean, everything in the Gilmon line has two copies, but this has four. Oh, two copies of Tukmon, the good stuff. Look at that foiling. Oh, the art is cool. Bill Starmon there. So basically, security attack plus one. And the effect, I like this effect. When you attack, you delete something with 4K, 4K. Or if you can't delete something with 4K, this Digimon gets... 3k this Digimon. This Digimon gets 3000 DP. So you delete something and get bonus for deleting, or you get 3000 DP. Mm, that's pretty strong for a level 6. Ooh, Shine Greymon. Sick. Security attack plus 1. Kansu or piercing. This card is very good. I mean, 
I don't like the cost, but having security attack class 1 and piercing in the same, 4 copies. Hmm, that's an as an as well. That's weird. We don't have 4... In the starter decks, you never get 4 copies of any Mega. So... The option card... Oh, uh, this option card. You give 2000 DP to a Digimon, and if you have the sec same security or less than your opponent, you get security attack plus 1. Mm. And if it comes from security, it goes to your hand. This card is so weird. Atomic Ray. Atomic Pras Prasta. So basically, you choose enemy Digimons, and if the, all their DP is 8000 or less, you delete them all. So, very anti-Rocky Rush. The security effect is if you you active the main, the main effect. So basically, don't go to your hand, you activate it. So we got four copies of this. And Gaia Force. Look at that Gaia Force. And come on. Four copies, the rules, I have to say, they notice what cards are playing, like, you got Dark Tyrannomon, something that everyone plays, Crown Dramon, something that everyone plays, Monodramon, the most common used card, I mean, there is Bijomon, but everybody loves Monodramon. Mm. It's good. It's a good starting deck. I have to say if... Now, to the real deal. I don't think this will change the meta. I like the Gilmon that can warp into Dukmon. But it's kind of hard because all the effects implies that you need to delete something from your opponent. And almost all the effects that let you stay in your turn are for Rockies, weak Rockies. Nobody is using a level 4s that have 4000 DP and leave them in the battlefield because everybody knows right now in the meta that that thing is going to die. So the strategy here that implies that you have to delete enemies in each attack, it's not that solid right now. That could change. I like the Dukemon because it can get it can gain 14k in the attack. The Shangri Mon too is very good for a Greymon deck. Piercing security attack plus it's instantly good. The Gilmon is interesting. The Greymon is for trolling. <laughs> um, the options are really interesting too. It's a, it's a cool starting deck. I have to say I was worried. But it's a good starting deck. The reason, as always, you have to uh, buy two because you have only two Gilmons, two Grailmons, two Dogmons, two from the option card. So you have to buy another starting deck so you can get all the cards, all the playsets. The other starter decks cost 500 and this one cost 1000. And the, this starter deck only cast, comes with the with the cards and a memory gauge that it's really ugly. And this one comes with the playmat, this awesome memory gauge. Really solid. And all these cards, I think, at some point will be played or will have a chance. And of course, the anniversary cards. So let's go with Ulforce. Here we go Ulforce Star Deck. Let's open this bad boy. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. The deck. Promo anniversary cards. Oh, sick memory gauge. Oh, that's so cool. 
I like the, the glowing eyes in every card. Yeah, that's the, the glowing eyes. And the playmat, let's see the playmat. Decent. Ah, oh, that's good. That looks so good. The good stuff. Let's cut this open. Here we are. Promo cards. Promo cards. These promo cards are so good. Oh, everyone has this unique foiling. Look at them. Look at that foiling. Did you see the lines? It doesn't have a, a weird texture. I mean, it looks like it had a weird texture, but it doesn't smash. Nah, the warm one. The warm one looks sick. Hagurimon. Oh. This one is my favorite. If you don't know the effects, the effects are all the same. They apply for each color. Basically, you reveal the four cards, the top four cards from your deck, and grab one color from, well, the, if you are the black option card, you grab one black card, any card, black card in general, doesn't specify, and it has in the main phase, delay. It specifies that you can't use this skill in the same turn that you play this card, but after that turn, in the main phase, you can uh, send this card to the trash to gain two memory. Just like Binding Light for yellow, I'm sure that this card will replace Binding Light. It's very convenient. The best scenario that I see this card being playing is when you have a bad starting hand, like you have to play one level five that costs seven or eight. But if you have this card, you can start playing this, only spend three memory, pass the turn, hope that you grab something better. And if you still have to play a level five that costs too much, you hope that your opponent gave you one or two or three memory, spend this, get four or five memory and spend the seven cost or eight cost together so you don't have to give eight memory in the first turn and basically lose the game for that. These cards will change that. I think these are good cards for the opening hand. They are good for when you don't know what to play because you leave them and you can spend it in any turn that you want. It doesn't specify when. So, good cards. Good cards. One of the reasons you have to buy four starter decks because it comes only one copy of each color. So, let's start with this deck. Tivimon, classic. If you have 8 cards in your hand or more, it gets 1000 dp, 4 copies. Oh, Parallel Art of Elecmon. I think I'm going to start using this one. Oh, so cute. This is really good. Gagumon. Eh, nice art. Same effect as Chimon. If you have eight cards in your hand or more, gets one thousand DP. Getting in the archetype of drawing cards. Oh, this this is the jackpot. You reveal the first three cards of your deck, and grab one that has the Ramon. You know, the ending, the Ramon, like B the Ramon, Bird the Ramon. Ulfors B the Ramon. It works with a lot of cards. So this one, jackpot. It will work in many archetypes. 
Oh, Demon. Oh, look at that foiling. Look at that foiling. Oh, that's really nice. Very nice. This is the same as Killmon from the red deck. If you have a level 6, this is the same as Killmon of the other game, of the other deck. Uh, if your enemy has a level 6 or more, you can warp your evolution into an un not specified an ul force vidramon for co for only four cost, ignoring all the requirements from that evolution. And the inherited skill attack. Mm. If you have seven cards in hand, you draw one. Only two copies. Pitramon. This one has a normal foiling. And the inherited skill. Mm. If you have eight cards in hand, you can return to the to their enemy's hand a level three or less. Or, or a level three. And discard their evolution sources. Two, only two copies. Quadramon. Quadramon. Okay. This is the same as Craymon from the Dukemon starting deck. You can play, uh, play it after the Battle of Security. And when you play it, draw two cards. I mean, it's nice, but um, it costs six. And the Pseudobomb from BT1 costs seven and draw. And you are already drawing two cards. And it has an inherited skill that when the enemy has a Digimon with no evolution source and one memory. So I don't see it this getting better than that Pseudomon but it supports the archetype Gorimon Parallel Art it's freaking weird I mean I like the colors but the art looks so weird well a parallel you can have because Gorimon is very well played in every blue deck, again, a parallel art, Mon Simon, only two copies. Weird as shit. Look at that face. That's the face of evil. That's not the face of mercy. Wing the Lamon, Wing the Lamon. The first blocker that it's level 5 for blue and it doesn't have any condition to attack, so it can attack without losing memory. Expensive to evolve. Wing the Lamon. Four copies. Eh. Supports the archetype. Oh, this is a good star. Uh, Aero Force V Dramon. Jamming. And the inherited skill. If you have eight cards in hand or more, you got security attack plus one. It's the same skill. The same skill as the promo Wargarurumon that has 6, 6k. I think the only difference is that the main skill of that Garur Wargarurumon is that if your base is a Garurumon, you can make it active one more time. It's good. Slayer Dramon. See ya. Oh. Sick art. Four copies. Well, skill. When you evolve, when you evolve the turn you evolve, security attack plus one. And in your turn, this can't be blocked. So, it doesn't have jamming, that's the bad stuff. Oh, here are the big guns. I of full force speed, Ramon. Look at that foiling. Well, the skills are, when you evolve, you can return one level 4 of your enemy to their hand. And uh, when you attack, if you have 8 cards in your hand or more, you can make it active one more time. Basically, all this deck, all this Bimon evolution line is, if you have 8 cards or more, I can see the archetype, it's interesting, but the best card 
that I see from this archetype is the Tai Chi, the, the B-Tamer Tai Chi, the promo Tai Chi, because it only costs two, and if you have a B-Demon in the field, because you are surely going to have one, it lets you gain plus Southern DP to a Digimon, or to a one card. And that Tamer is going to be the, the turntable to activate all the skills here. It's very good. I see this archetype more viable than the red one because the red one to you have to always delete something and stay in there in your turn. So that's kind of hard for red. Okay, let's see the option cards. Oh, beautiful hammer spark. Only two copies. Why only two copies? Give me more. So you make one Digimon active. Eh, kind of expensive. But, I mean, main active one Digimon only for three memory. Kind of expensive. And oh, nice. The effect of this card was. Oh, I forgot. This one goes to your hand if it comes from security. Uh, and this one, if your enemy has a level 6 or less Digimon, you can return it to their hand. It's like a Kokuto's Breath, but doesn't work with level 7s. Only to level 6 or less. Be careful about that. I mean, cost one less memory. If it comes from security, you just activate the main skill. Four copies. Same as Kokuto's, but doesn't work with level 7s. So... Rules, and that's all. I think this deck is going to be more useful than the red one, but I like the red one better. I mean, Dukemon is so sick. So I think that's all. See ya. Well, that was an interesting video, I think. If you like it, uh, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any opinions of these cards, Write it in the comments and talk about them. So be nice in the comments. Uh, 